You know, every athlete, performer, or competitor knows that there's always room for improvement, right? You can never completely master any sport or competition. Yeah, you have those moments when you're what I call in the flow or, or in the zone, when you are performing your best, and you know it when you're there, and you want more of it, right? Well, I'm with you, and that's what mental toughness is all about. Now, I teach and operate under this principle. Performance equals potential minus interference. Meaning, you will play, compete, or perform your best when you have no interference or mental emotional blocks. Many competitors come to me seeking confidence, you know, and, and, and they feel like that's their biggest issue, being confident when it counts in competition. And it's true. When you have confident thoughts and feel confident, you are more likely to perform your best. However, I'm here to tell you I've done a ton of confidence building sessions, and that is a big part of what I do, but pure lack of confidence is rarely the real problem. The real problem is that interference I mentioned. You see, beliefs and belief programs that are stored in your memories and your bodily intelligence that screw up your abilities. That's what I'm talking about, interference. And it usually happens more often and more pronounced in competition than in practice for most athletes. It's very common for performers to do amazing in practice and training, but they can't bring it to high competition. So bottom line, What's hurting or preventing confidence from showing up in competition? It's fear. Working with over 1,500 clients in person and tens of thousands online, worldwide, all ages, if you aren't playing or performing like you know you have the ability, then I promise you we are dealing with some form of fear. Possibly fear of failure, fear of success, or possibly fear of physical harm or a combination of all those. Now it's extremely helpful to understand it first and then we can take it apart and destroy it. Let me explain your solution to this problem using my four step race formula for mental toughness, which I developed from my experience working with athletes everywhere and performers and competitors from all kinds of different sports and activities and performing arts over the years because this is the vehicle that will transport you to clearing your variation of the problem, whatever it is, the interference. It's what I use for everything now to help my clients acquire mental toughness. And it starts with R, race. R stands for relentless, and it means you must be relentless about your ability and your desire to change these automatic thought and bodily responses seemingly are out of your control. They are not. Because I give you the tools to believe you can change them and to actually do it. You just cannot give up on yourself. And I promise you, you can get rid of it. It will go away, those problems. This video actually starts the process for you right here, right now. A in the race stands for awareness. So let's go there on all fear-based mental blocks. You know, fear, it's a very useful emotion. It's a survival mechanism, right? It keeps you alive when there's physical danger present. And we're all born with this program. It's useful, right? Unfortunately, like a computer, this program, it, it becomes corrupted. It's like viruses getting into your bio-operating system, your brain and your body, and it turns your survival mechanism against you. And it's all automatic once the virus gets inside the system. No matter how much mental willpower you try to come up with the counter, it will always beat you in the long run, as I'm sure you've noticed. In other words, let me ask you this. Do you perform better when you feel good or when you feel bad? Which one does confidence fall under? Right. Which one does fear fall under? And what happens to your thoughts when you feel bad? You start thinking negatively, don't you? And then you feel even worse. And you get stuck in this catch-22 loop, and here's why. Thoughts 
lead to emotions, which lead to feelings, which lead to behaviors, actions, and more thoughts. Which brings us to C, clear. You see, I believe there is always a reason why we do everything we do. And there is a reason why we respond and react like we do. And that goes for things that work for us and things that don't work for us all the same. You have to clear the reason why the survival function has turned against you. And here's the kicker. You have to do it at the inner mind programming or bodily level. You can't just think it up here. So to clear any kind of bodily programming you have, you've got to take the right counterthought for you and you have to get it from your head into your body. So how do you do that? Well, you teach for hours on that. And that principle runs through everything I do. It is the reason why I have such a high success rate with my clients. But the gist of it is this. The best way to get to your inner mind is to intend to do so and practice doing so. Now I do this in part for my clients with guided visualization. Then once you've cleared the mental virus, we come to E, emotional mastery. Now this is the final piece for mental toughness. Performing your best happens when you are in the peak performance state. And your state is comprised of two parts, how you're thinking and how you're feeling. Well, Fear isn't the only emotion interfering with your performance. Frustration, anger, disappointment, inadequacy, which is lack of confidence, embarrassment, stress, pressure, and on and on. This is the E in the race formula, emotion. And it's the foundation of everything I teach athletes and competitors. And here's something profound you might want to write down right here, confidence, is an emotion. It's extremely difficult for confidence to be built in the presence of the fear emotion. All emotions get triggered based on your belief programs. So if you aren't performing like you know you can, the race formula is designed to update your software that triggers the emotion. So you can perform to your potential automatically and without trying to do so. I'm going to send you an email tomorrow to pick up where I left off here and give you more tools for all of this. Look for it. The race formula always works when you work it. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.